guys, it's Mrs. C here. Just want to take a minute to go over with you what we did for New Grammar today, just as a little refresher and in case you had to step out of the room. Um, first off, I want to tell you how excited I am to have your kids in class. They are a great group and I feel so blessed to be able to tutor them this year. Um, I hope that we have a great year and I appreciate already so much the help that you guys gave me today. Um, appreciate the moms and the dad that was in there. We just had um, a good day. Everybody really stepped up and helped out and I just really appreciate that so much. It makes the class go so much more smoothly. So without further ado, we'll just go over really quickly what we did for new grammar. So we'll start out with timeline. With timeline, I use the cards, which we'll probably use a lot this year because I like having a visual as well as seeing the words on the card. So um, if you don't have the timeline cards, that's totally fine. You don't need them. You um, can just listen to the song or you can just say them out loud and repeat them, whatever works best for you. Um, I just like, like I said, to have a visual to go along with it. So, um, what I did with the kids is we mixed up the cards and I handed one out to each kid. So we had one kid that didn't have a card and they were the order putter. Sure. We'll go with that. They were the person who put the other, uh, put the cards back in order. So each kid held a card and they put it back in order, duplicating this at home, obviously just mix them up, lay them out on the table. Um, you know, you could try hiding them around the house and having them find them in order. There's all kinds of ways that you can um, use the cards um, and not just the song. They asked us this year to um, try to not use the song as much and let you guys use that at home. So I'm going to try not to always use it in class, especially because a lot of our kids know the song pretty well. Um, but at home, definitely feel free to use it. Um, but also try to make sure that they are actually learning the timeline and not just the song, if that makes sense. So anyway, so that was timeline. Math was pretty easy this week, our ones and twos. So we chanted our ones, our twos. We did to the tune of Jesus Loves Me. Um, I let a few volunteers come up and circle whichever number they wanted to, and we sang that number really loud. Um, you can do that again at home if you want to. You can let them circle a number or even erase a number so that they're having to memorize that a little bit more. And then, um, you know, say it quietly, jump when they say it. There's all kinds of different actions that you can do, and we'll probably do some of those as we continue to learn our um, times tables. Um, but, yeah, that was all we did for math. Um, for history, um, I made shakers, and shakers are really easy to make. They're just an Easter egg with rice in them and some tape. Really simple. So um, the song actually has some shaking in it. So we um, shook our shakers along to the song. I let them erase words off of my board that were kind of important like Columbus and Caribbean. Uh, again, you can do that at home, have them write it out and then erase words, uh, you know, whatever, whatever way works best for your family. Then for Latin, we did in a pud, like pudding, a pear, like pear that you eat and sin a, sin a together. So um, I put the English words around the room and let the kids run to those as I said the Latin word. And then um, something to do at home would be to kind of do that backwards where you have, you say the English word and they have to say the Latin word. So we want to make sure they are learning Latin to English and English to Latin. You could do it outside, have them run to a tree with the word on it, or put it on the ground, put it on the playground, make them get some exercise in there. Um, but yeah, that's what we did for Latin. Um, for science, the four types of connected tissue, we did just as the just did some hand motions for this. So what are the four types of connected tissue? The four types of I said that in class today, connective tissue. It is not connective tissue. It's just the four types of tissues. And one of them is connective, goodness. Connective tissue, epithelial. So you wanna kind of rub your arms, epithelial. Muscle, pretty obvious. And nerve, kind of poked in our neck, like you're paying the neck, you're getting on my nerves kind of thing. So again, what are the four types of tissue? They're connective, epithelial, muscle and nerve. All right, for English, we did silly motions or um, voices. Actually, I don't think we did too many voices today. I think we just ended up with a whisper, which wasn't terribly silly. I gave them the option of having me do it, 
they could do it or they can make the whole class do it. And a lot of them made the whole class do it. So um, we just said our sentence, which is an infinitive is to plus a verb used as a noun, adjective, or adverb. So we just repeated that in some silly voices and with silly movements. And then lastly, we did geography and I let them use toothpicks as little mini pointers so they could point on their map. And we just kind of did them forwards and backwards. I said the state, they said the capital, I said the capital, they said the, said the state. We just went back and forth with those. So that was all of our new grammar. Um, I did want to remind you guys about mapping. So what we're doing for those of you who aren't there, maybe didn't hear, didn't understand, is we're going to try to have the kids do card trading just like you would with baseball cards or Pokemon cards or whatever kind of cards kids collect these days. Um, so Miss Jen, who is our master's and uh, journeyman class leader, she actually designed these cards. You see them pretty well there. Sorry it's so bright in here. I mean, I'm not going to complain about the sun being out, but it does wash me out a bit. <laughs> but... Um, so these are the cards that she made. So there's this is week one, so they all have their yellow. And then week two, they're all different. But we will not be giving these out in order. Um, your kid will just get a random card, but at least this way it will kind of help them keep track of what cards they need because there's five for each week. So if you only have one green one, you know you need four other green ones. So... Um, for every two maps that they bring us, we will give them a card. So they will have to do a total of 100 maps to get 50 cards. And again, they might get a couple of repeat cards, which is kind of the point. We want them to um, engage with their other fellow classmates, encourage them to also be mapping. So, you know, if they've got two Connecticut's and someone else has a two Texas's, you know, they can trade. Um, but we want it just to be something as a community that we can be doing and encouraging each other to do together. So 100 maps sounds like maybe a lot, but you are the parent, so you can decide what qualifies as a map. If you want them to do all their maps just a blob map, that's totally fine. If you prefer for them to do three blob maps and one, you know, perfect line tracing, drawing all the states, labeling them, that's up to you. Whatever you feel like is appropriate for your student, you decide. We don't care. We're just encouraging everyone to try to map this year. Um, again, so you will need to do 100 maps total, and that's about four a week, I believe, to get all of the cards. It might be a little bit more than that. Um, but, you know, over Christmas break and stuff, you know, you can do a whole bunch while, we're, while we have a break and then bring me a whole bunch in January. And just remind your students if they're being a little reluctant that, one, they want to collect all the cards, and two, they get to pie me in the face if they get all of them, which, I mean, I think is pretty exciting. I'd like to pie somebody in the face. So, um, and I know some of them asked to pie them in the face. So if they want to do all this work and then let me pie them in the face, I guess I'll take one for the team and do that. <laughs> anyway, well, I'm really excited uh, about next week, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week and weekend, and I look forward to seeing you again bright and early next Tuesday. Thanks, guys. Bye.